We are gathered here, alhamdulillah, to celebrate the Islam of 16, more than 60 girls who became Muslim the last few months. 16. Inshallah, they will be 16. Most of them, they, they came from all over the place, from many countries. They come to Canada here and they learned about Islam through friends and colleagues. They went and they searched and they found that Islam is the right religion to adopt. Many of them, they came to the masjid and learned about Islam and they, they said their shahada and we are, we are very pleased for them that they, they become a Muslim. We consider this event as a spark, inshallah, for more for more people to accept Islam. And we just have to keep on striving for Allah's sake and give that one and hope the best from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our situation now resembles the situation of Rasulullah sallallahu when he was giving dawah in the haram in Mecca. Few people, they become Muslim. But those people, they were the best companions who supported Rasulullah sallallahu and who supported his cause. And they, they, were, they were with him all the way. And we take them as our ideal. We read about them in the history book and we learn from their stories. The new Muslims of today, they face uh, many challenges. Other than learning about Islam, and learning how to pray and read Quran and fast. Those new Muslims also, they, uh, they have a problem getting accepted by their families uh, as Muslims. I remind you that Rasulullah and his companions have the same problem. Some of them, they were humiliated, they were, they were beaten, they were, they were tortured even. But all this did not matter. All this, all this uh, they got through with it. And did not mind the pain and suffering when they knew that Allah is with them. And uh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they knew that Allah will grant them victory. They believed in this and Allah did grant them victory over the disbelievers. They had faith and their faith was strong. They had hope and their hope was strong. Their hope was big. They were strong with Islam and Islam was strong with them. Allah said in the Quran, Allah grants victory to the one who supports his cause. I also ask the born Muslim to give support to the new Muslims and help them with whatever they can to make them feel welcome and to strengthen their faith through help and learning. Celebration is a step forward, inshallah, to show them that we do care for them. And we are very happy that they become part of us, part of the Muslim community. Allah blessed us that we were able to do this celebration right in the heart of Toronto to show and to testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. You want salvation, you want your life to worthwhile, you want happiness and success on earth and in the day of judgment. You accept Islam as your faith 
and Allah as your only God and Savior. I ask Allah to bring more people to this religion and to bless us and strengthen us and make us worthy to carry this flame of life. Allah guide to his light whomever he wills. Allah chose you from between all the people and showed you his way. Allah loved you, so you love him back and glorify his name. May Allah shed light in our hearts and in our life. May Allah give us light and guide us to the truth. May Allah support us with all what we need until we meet him, all, all safe and happy. I also want to thank all who came here to celebrate with us. And I want to thank all the sisters, especially Sister Huda, who has made this celebration happen. <laughs> Most importantly, I want to thank Allah who helped us. And may, and may he always increase us in blessings and more people come to Islam. So inshallah, we make our number the disbelievers. May Allah grant victory to his religion. Oh Allah, we ask you to forgive our sins before we leave this place. Let our good efforts be met with your gratitude. Our good deeds be profitable, and our deeds successful. O oh, you the most merciful. O oh, Allah, let us be among those who called you and heard their calls answered. Those who asked for your guidance and were guided, who sought your victory and were given, who relied on you and were satisfied, and those who repented and got their repentance accepted. Subhana wa ta'atta fi bil izzi wa qala bih. Subhana wa labisa al majda wa takirrama bih. Subhana man la yambagi al tasbih wa illa la. Allahumma aqsim lana wa mhashyatik ma tahul bihi bayna wa tuma maasiyatik. Wa min ta'atik ma tuballaghna bihi jannatik. Wa min al yaqeen ma tuhawun bihi alayna masaid al dunya. Wa matkana bi asma'ina wa abisarina wa quwatana wa abiyatana. اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا عيبا إلا سترته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قديته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا مظلوما إلا نصرته ولا شريدا إلا أويته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا ضالا إلا هديته اللهم لا تدع لنا حاجة من حواج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا ولا لا صلاح لنا قضيته لنا يا أرحم الراحمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر جزاك الله خير ما شاء الله ما شاء الله نعم إن شاء الله نحن 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 Present herself, her name, and then why they become a Muslim, why they were interested in Islam. Okay, who wants to start? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so, uh, okay, um, okay, so this is Susanna from Mexico. Um, well, white, white. Yeah. What's, what made you interested in Islam? What when you? Well, I think the idea that there's something else after this world, like, I would call that this is not like just this world and that's it, so Islam gives like every detail of what is going to happen, so that makes me realize that we have like one God and a creator and uh, like the Islam, the way to live Islam is the best way, you can never do so. Hello, I'm Carolina. Uh, one day I was walking and I have many questions in my mind. I, I, I look by internet uh, a masjid and I arrive uh, uh, at one masjid and I meet this wonderful woman. Mashallah. 
she she taught me she taught me um, she answered my question and and in that moment I feel like I belong here like I I wasn't I I belong and in my heart as Rosa said feel um, happy and full and in all this process uh, I met an amazing friends like the friends that I wanted to have their behavior I don't want any other kind of friends and I feel like I belong and this is what I came Canada any reasons for a new Islam and these wonderful people is for my life so Alhamdulillah I I met uh, this the Islam and sister Sana helped me with all this process and and that day was the best day for me. Congratulations. So to see we have all the flags and and each flag has the name of the girl in her country where she came from. <laughs>
However, um, religion was never really a big part of my life. I felt that I just went to church just because I was um, following blindly. And um, <coughs> I had this friend who was Muslim, but um, it was never his intention to convert me. However, the topic of religion came up, and um, whenever he would talk about Islam, like, there would be no on his face. Like, the deen literally just shines through me. He was so passionate about it. So I thought, subhanAllah, like, why am I not like that with my religion, right? So all of the contradictions and the questions I had about Catholicism, Islam had actually answered it for me. And um, it came to a point that, like, one time I was having so many problems, but as soon as I opened up the Quran, I felt like it just spoke to me. So then ever since, like, um, I guess, I just realized that I need to, to say the Shahada because that was really all the happiness I was trying to find in this dunya was completely went away because I found this love. Valeria. Valeria. Um, the reason for why God converted to Islam is because when I was really small, I kind of started seeing people the way they prayed and what they were doing. So I started to uh, learn a little by little, trying to get more what it meant to be. And when I came to Canada, I used to go to high school where my best friend turned out to be an Islamic girl. Uh, I mean, it's a Muslim girl, and on the break time, on the lunch time, I always used to speak about Quran. She always would introduce me more into Islam. And then back in January, I believe, um, I wanted really to convert to Islam, and I sent about a few masjids email asking them for help. And actually, Toronto Islamic Center, where Sister Sana was actually they were the first one to reply me back and they told me come in whatever you can do so after I got some communication with them I came into Majid and I took Shahada and I was really happy because um, I had a lot of like interest in Islam and I just learned more and more little by little and I'm really happy that I accepted Islam because I lost close to my heart and yet it's all I'm really happy that Sister Sana helped me. Thank you, girls. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to come here, and then I'm very happy to be a Muslim right now. Um, the situation is different from anywhere else because it's like I became a Muslim because it's my body health. It's a health problem, and also. The guy uh, in front of uh, guy to friend in front of me and to be a Muslim. So uh, before uh, I came to this mosque, and then I I have no friend. I have no Muslim friend. Um, everyone around me they're non-Muslim, and also there's no people they agree me to be a Muslim. Even though I have hijab, before I wear hijab. I asked them permission to wear a hijab, and they don't agree. And then they refused me. But later they agreed. But later they asked me to take off again. And then I didn't agree them. And then I, I keep going to wear hijab. And then right now I'm still wearing hijab right now. No matter I'm in school, no matter uh, I'm in on the bus, or no matter where I, I am, I'm very proud of to have wear hijab. And also, uh, for my body, it still has the problem. And then it's like I, I feel everything will be gone in the future. But I, uh, when I have something in my body, and then my friend around me, they, they told me, trust Allah always, and then you will be fine. And when I uh, became, uh, when I came to this mask and then I knew a lot of friends around me like Huda <laughs> and, and also and also it's 
uh, Rava and uh, her sister, her sister, and also for Ashley and for Suna. And uh, she's so nice because it's like um, my friend Huda recommend me to go to the uh, Wellesley and Young um, class I'm new. And then she wanted me to new uh, Koran and then a lot of uh, Sura because right now I'm I cannot recite a lot of surahs. Can, can you recite like a small surah for us? Yes. She has a beautiful voice. Yes, yes, this one, this one, You must recite. Start. But maybe the translation is not good. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. 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 ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ、ファティハ